our community and are a proud sponsor of KNY 91.1 FM. The views expressed do not necessarily reflect those of KNY 91.1 FM and its affiliates. Welcome to Today with Cache. It's Friday. We're here in the Woodlands, Texas, and I have someone special in the studio this morning. I, first of all, I do want to say this. Uh, it's the month of May. I've decided, uh, obviously, Friday is all about hot topics, and so uh, the month of May, every Friday, I'm going to feature nutrition uh, and have a guest in the studio focused on nutrition, health, of, of anything of that sort. So the, the individual that I have in the studio this morning is the lovely Aisha Dubos. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> welcome to the, how does it feel? Oh, it feels great. You like being in here? Yeah. You feel like you're right at home? Because you I may do. have to come back. <laughs> I think I've, I have, she hasn't even done it yet and I already want her back. So well, that's just, oh, I mean. she, well, she has special privileges with that. <laughs> anyway, welcome. So, um, okay, I, I do this every time. I have to tell the story about how we met and uh, for us, it was Ladies Night Out, wasn't it? Yes, was it was. It? We met okay. on the committee. Okay. When you joined the committee to Ladies Night Out. Yeah, because you've been on it for how long? I had been on it for, well, at that time, probably 10 years, but I've been on it like 15 years. 15 years. Now. Now. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of support you've done. Um, yeah, and so we met, and of course, I remember seeing her, and I was like, oh, look at her. She's just cute little thing and I remember and then shortly after that obviously three you know going to the different socials and things like that we got to got to know each other and then uh, you are one of my running partners yes when we, we get a chance lots of times we did, together we did the relay well you run a little early oh. for me otherwise I would run more well, with you <laughs> yeah but you know we, we uh, do things anyway so anyway tell tell everyone out there who doesn't know you in the woodlands which is probably maybe only one person but uh, tell everybody out there a little bit about your background um, and who you are and all that good stuff well, I grew up in the woodlands, okay. first of all, and um, I love it. I moved back when I decided to have children with my husband. Um, I had a nutrition degree from Texas Tech. Awesome. Um, which I did not plan on doing, but I loved the nutrition classes that I were taking, so I just switched my major. And I haven't worked much in nutrition um, because I became a mom, and I needed money when I was young, and I couldn't find a good job. Um, but it has been the base of my life for many, many years. Okay, so you say that, uh, but to be a double, triple, quadruple, I don't know, zero, uh, <laughs> if there is even any left, <laughs> you had to have done something uh, to, to maintain this. Other, I mean, really, so, I mean, honestly, I have to say, um, you know, I know we're kind of around that same age. We, we don't need to discuss it, uh, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because we defy it. But no, you literally, you're like half your age. I oh. mean, and, and, and I say that because... Um, I know firsthand um, and so you have to be eating a certain way and living a certain lifestyle and so what a little bit is that about what you're doing I mean you have obviously the understanding from the background mm -hmm. um, and you say you've had the kids you've had two kids and yes. you look like this I mean so. it is definitely the diet I mean diet is 80% of everything you do and so it's you know, the 80 20 thing. 80 20. I mean, I exercise every day. Okay. I love it. And I've been doing it since I was a little kid. I was a gymnast and then I was oh, a cheerleader okay. and I ran track. So oh, wow. It's part of my life. But eating healthy has also been part of my life. Believe it or not, I was a chubby kid. Okay. And so at a very young age, yeah. my mom was like, mm mm, this isn't right. Okay. And so I learned at a very young age how to eat healthy. Um, my mom really always kept healthy, healthy food in the house. So, awesome. um, Fruits and vegetables, I'm telling you, the antioxidants really I've work. I've heard that. I've yes. heard that they're really good for the detoxing and oh, cleansing yeah. the body. It's a you very key them. element. Okay. Any specific fruits or vegetables that you would that you do particularly? Um, I mean, I certainly believe that anything that grows out of the ground naturally is going to be healthy and beneficial to you. Of course, organic these days is very important because of all the terrible soil out there. But, um, I mean... I would say any type of berries, kale, greens, you know, all the typical things you hear about 
um, the more nutrients packed food you can get, the better. You don't want to put garbage into your body. There's no reason to yeah. put food into your body if it has no nutritional value. True. Why? Why do you want to do that? Right. Right, because you're talking about your body. Yeah. We're not talking about a trash can. We're <laughs> yeah. talking about our bodies, which is we're supposed to be living in for yes. the next, to we're over 100 years old, yes. if we're lucky, right? So the reality is, to your point, be very cognizant of what we're putting in our bodies. Yes. I mean, obviously, we do like to have fun. Yes. And we can talk a little bit more about that. <laughs> I um, do like a margarita. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> maybe. So let's take a quick commercial. When we get back, I want to dig a little bit deeper into your lifestyle and how you maintain this, and then... Uh, We'll talk a little bit more about this. All right. Okay. We'll be right back. Thanks. We are broadcasting live from the Woodlands, Texas to the world. You're listening to the only multimedia FM station in Houston, Texas. Your fusion radio. Top 40s, dance, Latin, country, pop, rock and roll, all in one station. Mixing genres and generations. You're listening to KNLY New Waverly, Texas, 91.1 FM, The Boss. It's time to be super again. It's beach season. Killer Abs. Do you want to make your college experience different? Become an intern with 91.1 The Boss. We are interviewing interns today. Contact us at 713-370-5051. Fresh Flowers Fast. Call Barb's Iris Floral at 281-820-2294 with excellent customer service since 1983 for weddings, funeral services, sweet 15s, corporate events, and all occasions. For that special someone you love, barbsirisfloral.com and barbsirisfloralboutique.com. Come on in and pick out of our prestigious gallery at 727 Westmont Houston Road, Houston, Texas 77038. Text 832-466-8414. Barb's Iris Floral delivers fresh flowers fast. This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 FM. This is E.L. Crane of Real Estate U here each and every Saturday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on 91.1 FM The Boss. Remember, that's Real Estate U. Insightful, informative, and a little humor tossed in. Real Estate U, listening live, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. each and every Saturday, 91.1 The Boss. Could your business use more customers? Could your business use more online traffic? Sponsor with 91.1 The Boss Radio Station and let our multimedia radio station promote your business. Contact us today at 713-370-5051. Do you feel that your energy costs are unnaturally high? Do you want to fortify your building and keep it strong and secure for years to come? Then NRG Spray Foam Insulation is the answer you're looking for. Our unique foam insulation is made to help our customers save in energy, prevent gas, air, and moisture infiltration, as well as helping with general stability in your building structure. Call us at 713-936-3021 or visit us online at nrgfoam.com for more information. NRG Spray Foam. Building green, living green. This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 FM. Welcome back to Today with Cache. It's Friday. We're here in the Woodlands, Texas, and we're talking all about nutrition and eating and all the great things. And I have Aisha in the studio talking all about it. Welcome back. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, so we were talking before commercial about just kind of what you do and, and some of the things you talk about with the fruits and vegetables, a uh, very clean way of eating, it sounds like. You know, one of the things I want to ask you is you know, obviously, from the magazines and what we see on television, Society is so focused on um, body image. Um, I have to look a certain way. I have to be that, you know, I was joking earlier about the quadruple uh, size zero. You know, what would you say to the women out there or the young girls out there who are so caught up in that more than they are the nutritional aspect of it? And kind of give them a tip or two uh, to kind of see past that. A lot of people get that wall and they can't see past it. What would you What would you say to people out there? Um, I would say, you know, your body is your suitcase. 
for yeah, your soul okay. and okay. for your mind. And you want that luggage to last a long time. It takes a beating. It gets thrown around. It goes everywhere. But you want to take care of it and you want it to be hardy. In order to do that, you have to fuel it with health. Sure. And the advantages of being healthy and eating healthy are the way you look. Your hair grows better. Your skin looks better. Yeah. Um, you're leaner. You have more energy, so you want to exercise. Right. All these things happen because of the healthy eating. The the look of everything, the way people you don't want just to look. look like this by just no. saying, "Oh, I want to go do it." My it comes over is time. Not, yes, right. my goal is not to be, "Oh, I've got to be the cutest mom right. in the woodlands." Right, right. My goal is to make my suitcase last. I want to be around for my great grandchildren. Awesome. And I've been eating like this and doing this for the right reasons. And that's what people need to look at. And I think one of the things I also know about you when you have such a focus. One of the things, and I, I admire that about you, um, and I try to focus on myself, is I can turn on the party. I can be silly. I can eat those nachos. I can have those cocktails. But then when I need to re-jump back on, mm -hmm. you do that quite well. How do you, I mean, that's, a, that's an art. A lot of women or a lot of men out there, mm -hmm. a lot of youngsters out there can't, find that quick connection they say you know everything in moderation mm -hmm. um, but you have a great uh, skill with that well and it's not well I have a good willpower that is true but I do like to party okay and tell I, us about that I go on vacation <laughs> I like to, I like to eat cake a lot I okay. like to drink I like to have fun okay but when you're used to eating healthy it does make you feel bad so yes do I do all this crazy stuff sometimes I do right but then I don't then I don't feel so great so then I jump back to eating healthy again. right right um, but I, I mean I'll tell you I'm not gonna lie I blow it out every weekend yeah <laughs> yeah of course you do of course you do. but I have a very yeah. disciplined regimen week and, and I think and that's key you yes. allow yourself that and that's a great message and yes. tip to to listeners out there is yes be focused be disciplined but also allow yourself that ability to have fun. Yes. If you're going to live life between, as what I always say, between now and the next to we're 100 years old, if you try to be so strict, mm -hmm. you, you're you not going to last. You're not going to Because you're not living. And uh, I think that's what I'm hearing you say, and I totally, I totally agree with you with that. Oh, yes. Yeah, I mean, you want to live, you want to have fun, but you want to feel good. Right. And your own body will tell you, okay, I need to, I need to go sweat today, get some right. of these toxins out. Right. And that's such a great feeling. And remember those feelings. And you'll get addicted to them. Right. You'll get addicted to the feeling of eating fruits and vegetables and lean meats and It's what you do with because it. Because it feels yeah. good. And sure. it makes you feel good. Sure. What are some of the tips that you would say, quick little tips like a uh, breakfast tip or, you know, I'm running out the door and a person says, I'm a working mother. Okay, I sh I'm not at home. I don't have the luxury of getting up and I've got to get to work or I've got to, you know, what are some of these little quick tips that you could say, whether it's lunch, breakfast, snacks, dinner? Well, I will tell you what I do and okay. the way I cook for my family is time consuming. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Um, it's fun. I enjoy it, but it is time consuming and not everybody has time to do it. But if you pick a day, yep. which I do a lot, um, I go to the grocery store on, on Monday. On a Sunday. And sometimes on Monday or yeah. Tuesday, yeah. I will cook all day long just that one day and prep everything for the week. And that makes it a lot easier. And also, any restaurant, any fast food place okay. these days have that is healthy true. options. That is true. You just have to make them. <laughs> you just have to be smart. I think, and I think the other part is, you're right, uh, education. I mean, if you're still, and, I, and I'm sorry, I'm not going to name any <laughs> restaurants, I guess, because I am on air and I shouldn't do it. But, um, you know, if you're still going through the fast food lines, uh, at this point and expecting that to be a balanced meal and saying making the excuse that says I just don't have time if you're still caught up in that then at some point you have to look to yourself in the mirror I think um, there are so many now uh, tips there are so many ways that both the fast food restaurants even uh, mm -hmm. speaking of that and just restaurants in general and stores have made it so easy they have. To eat nutrition, uh, uh, you know, nutritional. And so to say that you don't have the time, I don't think that's really... It's an excuse. It is. It is. It and, is. And, you know, even going through, I mean, my daughter wants Chick-fil-A, I mean, at right. least twice a week. That line is so freaking long. Oh, my God. It is easier just to go home and make something. Right. Make your own Chick-fil-A, <laughs> yes. you know. And by the time the line, by the time, I, I guarantee you, let's do it, let's do it, let's do a test. <laughs> by the time someone gets to the front of the line... I will have already made a Chick-fil-A sandwich and waffle fries for someone. <laughs> I guarantee you. <laughs> no, but to your point, it's yeah, true. I think I think 
a lot of times. What do you think about our community as the Woodlands? I mean, and we're not, obviously we're not going to name names because we love everyone, but I mean, do you think our community or some of the women are caught up in um, the saga of, hey, quick diets, uh, I want to look a certain way, I, I want to compete with this person, or do you find that in our community people are pretty much got it down, working out, and committed to a healthy lifestyle? I mean, I think there's a little bit of both. True, um, true. I think a lot of women are caught up in that, and I I'm, feel sad for them because it's not a happy way to live. Right. Um, but I do believe that a lot of people just do want to be healthy and do sure. want to eat healthy. And some people don't care. And if you don't care, you don't care. It's your choice. It's your it choice. It boils down to choice in the end. <laughs> That's yeah. totally We're not going to force you. And, you know, some of those people may live to be 110. Who knows? Who knows? Because they're not stressed out about anything. Sure, sure. What is your workout routine? Um, gosh, I do a lot of things. Yeah. I love hot yoga. I love to run, obviously, with Yay. you. Yeah. Um, I love to do pio. I love to lift weights, but I don't love lifting weights. I kind of make myself do it. Do um, you think it's good to mix it up, or do you think that if someone is so caught up in one thing, uh, that can be okay, too? Or do you think that muscle confusion style concept of try a little of this, do a little of this, is better? I think, well, I definitely think you need to be doing cardio and weight training and stretching. Like That's all those things combination, I think is healthiest for your body. Um, I do all these different things because if I did the same thing every day, I would. <laughs> so it's more of a personal choice, right? Yes, I think it is personal choice. But if you're getting out there and doing something every day, do whatever makes you happy. That's yes. what I think. No. Do what you're going to do. No, I think I think that's right. And so you were saying some of the splurges. What are some of your guilty pleasures that you like when you splurge? Oh, we well, I like sweets. All I right. do. Uh -huh. um, and a lot, if you go onto my Instagram, you'll see a lot of my recipes are healthy baked goods because I love to bake goods. So I have figured out a way to make them healthy. So sweets is more of your sweets, weakness. Sweets, yes, yeah. but, you know, I've kind of replaced that as an adult with alcohol, to be honest Okay, with you. well, then that's the sweet of choice. <laughs> I don't think there is a choice. I um, like my wine. Then, then the wine. <laughs> yeah. So, like Friday, I know we, you and I have talked about like today is your day. Yes. Right. So it starts from today and it ends on Sunday, or uh, I typically don't. I'm typically over it by Sunday. Okay. So Sunday's the time to get back on yes. track. Yeah. But you know, I'll have a glass of wine on Wednesday or Thursday night, and yes. you know, Friday and Saturday I'll blow it out. But by Sunday, I'm back on the treadmill and I'm over it. What do you say to the the concept of drinking tons of water? Oh, I love it. Uh, are you one of the, or, yeah, because, you know, some, you've heard, I've heard some people say, you know, too much water is not necessary because you start to, you know, erase out some of the, the minerals in the body. Is there, mm -hmm. is there a balance? I think everybody's body's different, obviously. You can't say in a certain amount of water for one person. Um, I mean, living in Houston in the heat, I, I don't think there is a such okay. thing as too much water. Okay. I mean, I drink it all day long. And, I, and you know, water is like giving your the inside of your body a shower. I mean, right. it flushes everything out. I in my opinion, the more water, the better. More water, the better. Yeah. Okay. And then as far as, are you the mindset that says the six mini meals a, uh, all day long, every two hours, or hey, a person who says, I just want to eat one big meal, or, you know, what is your thoughts on that? Um, I have that? mixed feelings. I know a lot of people do the intermittent fasting, and yes. I do not think it's a bad thing. I, okay. think, it, I think it's a great thing. Okay. I personally like to have about five little meals a day. Okay. I like a snack. I like to eat every so three hours. So tell us, you wake up, you have... I wake up around? in the morning and I have like a protein cookie or okay. a little protein ball that I've made with my coffee. I don't eat much. Okay. Then I do my workout. Okay. Then about three hours later, I'll have, you know, 300 calorie lunch maybe. Okay. And then about three hours later after that, I'll have a snack um, of some sort, maybe a protein shake or... I don't know, maybe another protein cookie, something Whatever, like, whatever. Whatever. You, but or, you've made it. Yes. Or, you know, what I do a lot of times is whatever my kids didn't eat in their lunch. When uh, okay. That out, I'll just okay. that up. Okay. Whatever. Okay. And then I'll eat my dinner, and then I usually don't eat after that. And then you're um, done. Is it so past a certain time? I usually don't eat past 6.30. Okay. I've heard that the body, it's interesting. We'll go to a quick commercial after this, and then I want to hear all about your Instagram. <laughs> but uh, I heard that the body actually at 10 p.m., is a great time to go into sleep or lay down because that's when it goes into repairing mode. Oh, sure. I've heard about that. So that's why you don't want to eat past a certain time and then you want yeah. to let your body start to repair itself for the next day. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. So when we come back, <laughs> we're going to learn all about your new Instagram. We'll take another quick commercial. We'll be right back.
We are broadcasting live from the Woodlands, Texas to the world. You're listening to the only multimedia FM station in Houston, Texas. Your fusion radio. Top 40s, dance, Latin, country, pop, rock and roll. All in one station. Mixing genres and generations. You're listening to KNLY New Waverly, Texas. 91.1 FM, The Boss. It's time to be super again. It's beach season. Killer abs. You want to make your college experience different? Become an intern with 91.1 The Vox. We are interviewing interns today. Contact us at 713-370-5051. Fresh Flowers Fast. Call Barb's Iris Floral at 281-820-2294 with excellent customer service since 1983 for weddings, funeral services, sweet 15s, corporate events, and all occasions. For that special someone you love, barbsirisfloral.com and barbsirisfloralboutique.com. Come on in and pick out of our prestigious gallery at 727 Westmont Houston Road, Houston, Texas, 77038. Text 832-466-8414. Barb's Iris Floral delivers Fresh Flowers Fast. This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 FM. This is E.L. Crane of Real Estate U here each and every Saturday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on 91.1 FM The Boss. Remember, that's Real Estate U. Insightful, informative, and a little humor tossed in. Real Estate U, listening live, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. each and every Saturday at 91.1 The Boss. Could your business use more customers? Could your business use more online traffic? Sponsor with 91.1 The Boss Radio Station and let our multimedia radio station promote your business. Contact us today at 713-370-5051. Do you feel that your energy costs are unnaturally high? Do you want to fortify your building and keep it strong and secure for years to come? Then NRG Spray Foam Insulation is the answer you're looking for. Our unique foam insulation is made to help our customers save in energy, prevent gas, air, and moisture infiltration, as well as helping with general stability in your building structure. Call us at 713-936-3021 or visit us online at nrgfoam.com for more information. NRG Spray Foam. Building green, living green. This message was from a proud sponsor to KNY 91.1 FM. Welcome back to Today with Cache. It's Friday. We're in the Woodlands, Texas, and we're talking all about one of my favorite topics, nutrition and health. And not who better than to have Aisha in here talking with me all about it. So um, welcome back. Oh, thank you. Um, so real quick, one of the things I, I, I had read about and I know about uh, that I didn't mention and I want to congratulate you on is you said about 15 years with Yes to Youth, um, which is, is huge. And so I want to talk a little bit about that and what you've done with that. But you were honored this year. Tell me what exactly, or tell the listeners out there, uh, which you were honored for, and a little bit about your background with Yes to You. Um, well, it was a very, very nice honor. I was actually honored with three other women um, for the progress of Ladies Night Out, which has been so much fun. And I have gone 15 years, and oh I've been on God. the committee probably 13 years, and I've chaired it probably four times, and wow. it's just a wonderful, wonderful night, first of all, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that exactly. I enjoy doing, but that more importantly, the charity is wonderful. Yes to Youth does so much work in this community for our mm -hmm. young children, and you know, suicide rates are so high, and there's so much counseling, and oh my, it's never enough. It's never enough, and this organization is just, I can't say enough about it. So, I was very blessed to be honored. That's great. Well, you deserved it, and so Thank I just you. wanted to uh, highlight that for a moment. We can switch back now to your <laughs> fame. <laughs> so, like back in January, uh, we were running, and I remember, I think we were on the waterway. We were. We yep. were going up the steps because we were trying to figure out how to get back <laughs> and which route we were going to go. And we probably six, seven miles in, and it was hot. And uh, Or maybe not. I don't, I don't remember. remember. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> look, what am I going to give every detail? <laughs> anyway, and I remember you were saying something about, like, oh, I think I'm going to do, like, an Instagram page. And I said, do it. And he's like, well, what about this? I said, just do it. And literally, the next day, you went, and I saw it pop up. And I'm like, she did it. And it's. Aisha's Delicious Nutritious. And are you kidding me? 
You got more followers than I have. Over 800 and something followers, which I've been, I don't know how long my page has been up. How did you, I mean, that's amazing. That's huge. Well, um, Talk to me I about didn't that. know anything about Instagram. Oh, so my gosh. Of course, of course, I had to have my daughter set it up okay, for me. Okay, okay. Um, and, you know, the, the first few followers really were... You know, a few friends I had. Exactly. But mostly the high school kids. Okay. I mean, it was okay. running rampant okay. through the high school. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and they my, love you. Yo, yeah, and my son and daughter were like, Mom, you're embarrassing. And us. you're more popular than we are. But then I started doing these recipes, and the kids really liked them because a lot of them were simple. Right. I did a couple shout outs to their friends. Will you and come and just, do one here? Oh, absolutely. Okay. And it just got more and more fun. So I just got one of those stands right, with the light, and I right. put my phone in it, I was so excited, Okay. and I started videoing just what I was doing that day right. for dinner. Right. And I just And now you're like a fame, now you're famous. So so, so tell me, um, um, what, uh, what do you want the follower? I mean, what are you wanting everyone to get a, obviously a nutritious, healthy meal, but what's kind of, well, what was your drive? What? I oh, did. What? Oh, oh, yeah. My deviled eggs. Did you bring me eggs. some? No. Okay. No. I, I don't need them. They were gone in one that? day. That is a chicken noodle Thai thing that oh. I make. So my goal is okay. to make sure that people are learning how oh, to wow. cook healthy. Yeah. Because it's not hard. It's not. It's not hard. It's and not. so if they, they don't have to follow my recipes exactly, but if they're just learning how to cook, and then how to cook healthy sure. and a healthy base. It's a lifelong lesson. And it's done fun. And, and easy. you see this cute little face and she comes up and you think, oh, is that my daughter telling me how to cook? No, this is a, a mother with two children, but this is an example of someone who, you you said it earlier, lives the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're practicing what you preach. And I you're do. an example of that. I mean, and... Um, um, and I'm feeding my kids that way and my husband that way. And, um, yeah. you know, they don't get sick very often. I mean, the plan works. It works. I'm telling you. It works. <laughs> so why not try it? Um, okay. So what's one of your favorites or what's been oh, one of the well, most popular you know, dishes? I, I, lots of them are my favorites. Okay. Um, all, my favorites probably that I made recently was the banana bread, which I just did a couple okay. days ago. Okay. And Sandra actually gave me her grandmother's recipe, and then I tweaked it to make it healthy. Of course. And it's... it was gone in 45 minutes. And my wow. family was like, can you make more? And I was like, well, the bananas have to rot. <laughs> <laughs> we got to leave the bananas outside and let them sit and rot for a couple of weeks. But I have noticed my video that has the most hit is the one that I did, um, a beverage, an alcohol. An <laughs> alcohol beverage. beverage. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. But it was probably a skinny martini. It was. It, it, was, was, so it was, healthy, was done healthy. It was done healthy. It was a healthy was gin good. and um, gin and ginger yeah. with apple cider vinegar. Oh, that's a great question. Yeah. Um, so two uh, listeners out there uh, who are going to have that. It's Friday. It's the weekend. Is there a specific way to be bad? Is there a good way to be bad? And what, if there is, can you tell us how to be good and be bad? Um, there certainly is. I mean, alcohols have different caloric levels. Um, I personally think gin is the healthiest for you. It it's is. made from juniper berries, has lots of antioxidants, and um, has the least amount of calories, only 64 per So ounce. make that gin martini versus yes. the vodka. And vodka well, vodka okay. would be second, tequila would be third. Okay. Um, those are your probably best low-calorie alcohols. Uh, wine is... Good what is the trick? Some what do you say? Some people say that bloats sugar. them. It, I mean, I, don't, I mean, it has sugar in it. Okay. Um, but it also has health benefits. Yeah. You know, it's made from grapes. How um, bad can grapes be? You know. I mean, really. <laughs> if you're gonna stay away from something, yeah. you should probably stay away from beer. Yeah. And I was gonna say, I do not drink beer. Sugary drinks. Any sugary drinks is gonna be off the table. Right. I mean, do right. not add sugar to your alcohol. You're just killing oh, yourself. Oh, right. When they, okay, so you're saying I can't have the lemon drop. When they go, Cache, <laughs> no. do you want sh sugar on the rim? And no. I go, um, just a wee bit. I go, just a wee bit. I shouldn't do that. No. Okay, no, okay. Because no. I've already gotten what I needed. So tell us again. Um, we're going to wrap up here. But tell us again what your, your Instagram page is to the listeners out there um, so they can Aisha, follow Aisha, delicious, underscore, nutritious. Okay. And is there anything specific that you can give us a tip that you're going to be cooking? Or, and this is every day you do this, right? 
I, well, I don't do it every day. I do it about three or four times a week. Three or four times because a week. Because there's a, there's a she's lot busy. of times. Well, she's got other things to do. Sorry, followers. You'll have to be patient. And then there's also days where I'm making something that I've already posted. I'm yeah. not going to repost it. And then like today, she's leaving here. I dragged her out. Thank you. I appreciate it. She's got a luncheon to go to. I do. From here. So she's got other things she has to do. <laughs> uh, but she is so honored to be able to give you uh, a little bit of uh, what she has to offer. And uh, we love it. I love your page. So oh, everybody out there, make sure if you have not gone to her page, go to it. She's fun. She's great. She lives what she preaches. Uh, dear friend of mine. And thank you for being here today. I appreciate it. Thank so, you, Kat. We'll see you. Have a great weekend. Go have your margarita or your, or your gin or whatever. <laughs> but be good about it. It is Friday. Okay. Let's say bye. Bye. bye.